Thank you very much. Welcome to the Queen Anne's County Board of Education work session on Monday, June 22nd, 2020. Do I have a motion to open up the meeting? So moved. A second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Any questions or comments on the motion? Hearing none, I call for the vote on the motion to open the, op the work session, June 22nd, 2020. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. The ayes have it. The motion is carried. Um, I don't have to have a, I don't have to have a, to, about the agenda. Do you have any questions right now? You want to go ahead and open up, Dr. King? Um, yep, Thank you. so good evening, everyone. I just wanted to, uh, before we get started, just acknowledge um, some materials that we have been provided. Thank you, Mr. Fister, for a um, an updated, um, it is the budget book, but as you know, we put it out in the beginning and once it's approved, but we have added some comments with regard to conversations that we've had in terms of moving dollars around and increasing or decreasing um, allocation. So that is reflected in that document. Um, and as well, you have um, another handout that Mr. Fister is gonna talk with you about, but uh, we've given um, probably about as much uh, documentation as we have. And I'm gonna take the probably out of that. We have given all of the information that we have, responded to all board questions. And at this point, um, Mr. <coughs> Fister is gonna come forward to respond to questions, but it, I really wanted to um, give Ms. Harper an opportunity to um, sort of give an overview of, of what's about to happen tonight. We are here to respond to any questions, but do not have uh, a presentation because at this point we have shared all the information that we have. Okay, thank you. And um, first of all, I wanna thank everyone for coming on a Monday. I know our normal work session days are Wednesday, but this is critical since we have, thank you so much, sir. We have until July 1st to get this um, submitted to MSDE. So I, I appreciate everyone taking the time to come tonight. Um, as we uh, kind of put out, we will not be meeting tomorrow. We will be meeting on Wednesday if necessary, um, just to let everyone know. Um, I would like to get some guidance from the board members. I'm going to go around um, to each one of them and just ask where they think we uh, would like to start off with this budget, where we could uh, start to get down to the $2 million that we need to get out of this budget. I'll wait for Mr. Pister. Board members, what we've would have handed out four documents. One is the one with the little rings on it, is the five-year summary that I believe some of you were working from, uh, from the one from October. So this has now been updated uh, to reflect your budget as of March the fourth, what you as a board approved. Um, the columns in the center, highlighted in blue, are the five-year actuals. And then the FY20 budget as we sit and live and breathe here for another few days. And then the requested budget. And then the far right column is the increase or decrease reflected in those budgets. So again, this is um, an exact uh, format as you were accustomed to, uh, but just been updated since the one you were provided in October as our first basic working document. The one with the salmon-ish color 
is our requested budget. They're almost duplicate of each other's other than this is the official requested <coughs> budget document. Uh, it does not have the five-year actuals, uh, but it's laid out very similar by the state categories with all the descriptions of the line items, um, the actual for 19, what was approved in 20, what's requested again as of March 4th, your board budget. And then uh, the far right column again, um, you requested increase or decrease. And then the two single pages is sort of the document that we've been working from throughout the budget process that uh, the one without the green box at the upper right hand corner was your budget, again, as of March 4th, everything that was requested in addition to the base budget. Then because of county funding, uh, the limitations on maintenance of effort uh, <coughs> under uh, Dr. Kane's guidance, executive team went back and pared down that request to bring to you before a couple weeks ago what we estimated one of the scenarios as a balanced budget, and that's indicated by the one with the green box at the top. And you can see be between the two, there's a lot of empty spaces on here. So the description of what it was is still there, but the dollar amounts, of course, are no longer there, which means it's not funded. And then the big delta, so to speak, based on what we seem as uh, must-haves and mandatories and unfunded mandates and whatever else you want to roll them all up into, uh, the caveat is that 27 positions for $1.9 million is the delta that I believe we've been discussing for the last few weeks on how we will to solve that hole. Where do you have that on here? Just the big red box. Big red box. Okay. The big red box. All right, thank you. So um, with that, be happy to answer any questions. We can certainly go by any of these documents that you'd like, line by line, if you want to make some There's no uh, doubt. adjustments or There's requests. There's no doubt that staff went through a lot of work to produce this. Uh, <clears throat> I went through without this information and got to $1.9 million of cuts. But I don't know if I read this list whether I am dipping into lawful, unlawful, and so forth. But I get there. Um, and actually, it's not very hard. Getting employees to accept it might be uh, a bit harder. But. Um, I asked Dr. Kane a, a simple question because I didn't know the answer. Are our employees paid between Christmas holiday and the New Year's holiday? And the answer is yes. But the schools are closed. That is a very logical place uh, to have a day or two of furlough time because the schools aren't open, so you don't have that complication. Uh, my scenario only has one furlough day, and it's the 28th of December. But I've, uh, there, there's 11 other things that get me to just about $1.9 million. Uh, and they come from an assortment of lists and so forth. Okay, so we'll go over that. We'll, we'll go over that. Okay. Ms. Morissette, do you have any? Comments. My only question was the the Comar required training in special ed. Do we have a grant that's covering? I apologize, I didn't hear you. The the Comar required training in special ed is that being covered somewhere else? Since it's no, if it if it is, it, where are you, which document are you looking at? Um, the big blue sheet with the yeah the right exactly. We'll have to figure out how to get it done because we have to do it. Okay. So if there are any savings that we can realize any place, then that's, a, that's one of those areas. We have a variety of unfunded um, items exactly that we have to do, mm -hmm. but there's no line for them. So if ever there is a, an employee attrition or anything like that, we tend to fund those required things from attrition. Not the way that it should be done, but because our budget is so very lean, there's no way that we can account for it okay. otherwise, but we know that we have to do it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Smith? Um, I mean, there's a few little things we can go over as far as picking out of small items, but I mean, the, ma the major thing, we've got a, a gap in here that's not going to be done by five and $10,000 items. Not that we shouldn't look at them and do all that. I think there's going to be a lot of five and 
$1,000 items that come up later on in the school year with what we don't know. Um, so I am not an opponent of furlough days because I think that's um, not balancing the budget correctly. Same as using a fund balance to balance the budget. I think both of those are just Rob and Peter to pay Paul, so I don't go for that idea. I would like some clarification on what was just said on December the 28th. Yes, we don't have school, but our teachers teach 180 days. They're under contract for 189. Um, they might get paid every two weeks, but that's because they're being paid on a cycle, but not necessarily working. So I, I don't know. I got a clarification on, on, on that terminology. Um, because what I look at is some of our employees are 12 month employees, but our teachers are 189 with 180 mandated by the state. Um, so unless we're going to lose classroom instruction, that comes out of 180, or we're going to lose other in service days, comes out of the other nine days. Um, but a furlough day, I want to be pleaded front with all my board members, to me, it's just Biden time because if you take it this year, you're still going to have it in next year's budget. And we're already using fund balance from last year again this year, which I have a hard time to agree to. Told to do it by the commissioners. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Mr. Anderson, let Mr. Smith finish. <clears throat> that, that would be my, my comment. Captain Kelly? Um, I, 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 he's right. We can't, I don't believe we can take a furlough day on the 28th. Um, Never get there. Because the teachers are working, are supposed to be working. We have a schedule and they're supposed to follow that schedule. I'm very we happy have to, have to hear suggestions. Mr. Anderson? Can Not what we can't do, but okay. what can we do? Okay, Mr. Anderson. So, but anyhow, I was, my idea is that um, I, I think we do need to go um, line by not, line by line um, and delete stuff that we need to delete um, and then see what the bottom line is after that. So I'd like to go line by line on the budget, at least the budget I was working on. To clarify, the board does not pick when furlough days occur. That is up to superintendent and executive team. So if we do vote on furlough days, they are it's not under our jurisdiction of when those days get picked and when they get used just to can clarify suggest I, what do i suggest we can suggest we can suggest absolutely and but offer alternatives if it's not accepted well, it's, it's called negotiation well it's called out of our purview mr anderson and if that is the will of the board to go with furlough days again that would be up to the superintendent I am all in favor of going through and taking out some of the um, increases on things. Um, everything's necessary to run the system. Um, it's just some things we have got to really look at um, close up and say, is it really, really necessary for the 7,700 students of QACPS? Um, I am not... Um, I, I don't want to, but I think going back into negotiations, which we may have to discuss later, it may be an option. So from here, um, Mr. Pfister, do you, are we okay starting with this first page? Can are I we, ask a question? To sure. Dr. Well, Dr. Crane, okay. uh, where, does the, where does the staff see we need to do? Why don't you guys go first and tell us what can be done? So we don't waste a lot of time doing things that can't be done. So I think Mr. Um, Anderson, and thank you for that opportunity, but we have provided multiple and just added another sixth scenario mm -hmm. um, last time we met. So I think that we have uh, pretty much exhausted the suggestions that we have, uh, keeping in mind that some of these um, things are uh, closed session items and could not be discussed during open session, but we have presented uh, as of last budget, uh, last work session last week, a sixth scenario. So we have suggested multiple. Does it total $1.9 million? Yes, all of them do. Yes. Does it require opening up any negotiations? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. And does it have a backup plan if the negotiations stalemate? Five others. So pick one or two or three or four or five or six. Yeah. So. <laughs> yes. Or in pass. Yeah. Right. Or that. Okay. I'm open to suggestions on where do you want to go to start? 
Page three. Page three. Of the new book. Now on the old book, but it's the same. I went on based on the FY19 because we didn't know what 20 was, how much was actually. So if I can just preface that, the, the keep in, please keep in mind as we discussed last week, the one initial five year summary document that we uh, distributed part of a working document in October included some executive team uh, suggestions as, as some base um, issues. Looking at that now, some of those are not in your budget to, to be cut. Okay. So we'd have to, so if, if you see something from that document in October that you cut, I would suggest go to the new one, the one with the big blue line through the center of it, or the blue okay. shaded area, and see if that line still exists there, because it's very possible. Ms. Harper, I'll give you an example, the legal fees. We had suggested, based on past history, right. legal fees should be increased by $25,000. That never made it into your budget because okay. of that. Oh, but if you're you. looking at that document in October, you might say, oh, here's $25,000 towards the cut. It's not in your base budget to be cut, okay. the $25,000 ad. I'm, I'm not even pulling this out. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it aside and we'll just okay. deal from here. Um, so I, I see on this page two that we still have the accountant in here. Is that a new, the new accountant? So again, this is reflective of, yes, this is the new accountant as highlighted in blue. This is reflective of the budget that you passed. In our scenario, one of our scenarios here, the budget, um, the, the account is out. off as yes. far as that suggestion. Okay. But this is reflective as of March the 4th. And, the, okay. and at that time, the accountant was still in your budget. Thank you. So you're asking, based on what, you, based on what he just said, I, I found I don't have anything on page three. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Comparing it. That's great. Handed okay. Us. Okay. So, so this, this is very helpful. Thank you so much. Yes. So any of the, so where their increases. Be in that far, far right column. Correct. Um, the, the first of every category, of course, is most of that that you're seeing in the salaries and wages with the exception of this accountant and maybe a few others, handful others, um, is going to be reflective of the negotiated uh, increases um, that were negotiated in good faith and signed by this board. Correct. So that's where most of that is. I think if you wanted to concentrate, you would look in anything other than salaries and wages, other than like we already know the accountant is a position that's gonna be coming out. Correct. Um, so you know, I will mark that um, as so indicated on this other sheet. That so on the sheet, forward. to clarify, the Virtual Learning Academy, uh, I was incorrect stating that the vote required a supermajority. It did not. It just re required a majority. Therefore, the three for I and the one no and the one abstention, the motion passed, and the Virtual Learning Academy of 158.80 um, was rescinded. Correct. So that would be if that no, that's is coming out the purview of the board to continue with that. Okay. Then that would be one hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars towards your one point nine million dollar okay. deficit. We're, is it one? We're doing one nine or two? Or we, or For round nine, numbers discussion round numbers? is two. I okay. mean, we know we're going to have some balancing to do. So. Um, okay. Um, on, the, on the virtual academy, though, I, I just like to wait. Kind of put that at the end to okay. see where we are before we. Okay. You know, we, that was just to take back our vote. It wasn't to include it in the reductions at the at that moment. Um, so I'm just going page by page. I was looking at page four, both. I got both over here, and under printing and publishing, um, I I just knocked that out. Uh, we had sixty six fifteen in in. FY19, and I have um, recommended we drop 4,000. Well, you dropped, uh, take away 4,000 of the 6615. So, what does that put us here? So, so, if I can, the 6615 is what we actually spent. Correct. Your budget that you would want to cut would be the $15,800. Right. So if you took 4,000, then the budget going forward for FY21 would be $11,800. And was, so clarify the printing and publishing, would that also include all the pamphlets that go out to the, the students during? Not in this particular printing and publishing. Okay. Um, as you can, it, it's basically anything administrative. Um, the school side would be probably an in instruction, the printing and publishing there, but this would be on the administrative side, uh, such as the documents you're looking at tonight. So I reduced 
the 10,800, four more thousand down. Okay. Say that again. The 10,800 is right. What's in the budget? Is that my looking at See, that, that was, so, so that was an original cut back 15, in. 158, I'm sorry. So 15, 15, eight. And you want to bring it down to six something? Um, so we actually raised it up from the, uh, the budget that we made in the. No, ma'am. Original October budget, it was 10, eight. And now it's 15. After, after a $5,000 cut, but that $5,000 cut never was presented in the board's budget as a cut. So in essence, what the board approved in this line was $15,800. So now you're asking to take it down by 4,000 or do you want to take it down to the 6,000 9, by 9,000? Okay. But, but, but so I'm straight last, our current budget was 15, eight. We did not raise it. We just left it status quo for the new budget. And now, now you're suggesting we lower it. My question is, what have we spent so far to this date and this year, this current year, what have we spent? I could certainly, well, actually today my financial systems had a hiccup, so actually I really can't uh -huh. look as of today, Sorry. Um, but um, I could certainly get that information for you. Let, let me ask you a question and the future we don't understand or un can't c commit to, but there's just as good a chance we're, with everything going on, we're going to have more publications to get the information out to the public than less with, with, the, with the new changes we're going to have at, at our new school year because it's not going to be as normal. Mm -hmm. So I have no problem lowering it for, but I don't know if we're beating a dead horse on that one too. Um, yeah, so hold, hold up on that. I, I agree. We're going to have to, let me put a note on that and see where we are at the end. I mean, $9,000 is not. It's basically bringing back to the nineteen. But yeah, we don't know about 20. We don't know. So I just went. Yeah. With There's so many variables yes. in um, FY21. Too many. And, and as, as I've reminded of the board, you know, the, the small cuts, yes, they add up to quite a bit. But there's the small things that we don't know about that these cuts would help offset. But we'll deal with that when those issues okay. occur. Okay. On the exact line item, though, you all originally thought we could reduce the 5,000. And we decided not to for some reason. Yeah, it just never made it in for, for whatever reason through our discussions in producing the superintendent's budget. Those those couple little items did not make it through. Okay, so, so I yeah. just wonder what was the, the reasoning that the staff could do 5,000 less and at least 5,000 we could come down. I don't know why I missed that one. We would have grabbed a, I would think we would have grabbed one that you all recommended as a reduction. I will grab it now. That's okay. We were just looking for savings. We went through the whole book line by line, just like you're doing right now. Yeah, and we're looking for savings. I see it now. Thank you very much. Well, I guess <clears throat> my thought is you all, during your looking for savings, that might be somewhere you could actually accommodate that. So I'm up for that. We could just move to five instead of nine. And of course, that was pre-COVID. <laughs> that was pre-COVID. Okay. okay. So is this one of those line items? <clears throat> should the schools go over and budget in this particular that this could help them? Not without a categorical transfer. Okay. Yep. So but you could do a transfer to help. We, we certainly make. could. Sure. Okay. Sure. So if we took but in that in that so I'm sorry I'm in that sorry. realm, you know, other instructional areas, you know, with the software or substitutes or any of that, it would not require a categorical transfer. So it might be an easier move if mm -hmm. they were to go over planning and publishing, and we had some mentor dollars or some um, some tutor dollars or something that we didn't spend. We could just transfer that okay. here, taking. I'm more concerned about the category than I am the line. Okay. You know, printing to printing to printing is fine. I'm more concerned about the category and not having to ask for a transfer between categories. Okay. We can handle it within. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. So you have an issue going between categories? Be not an issue. I mean, it requires your approval and it requires county council approval. If I can handle it within the category, I would much rather do that. True. True. I was just thinking safety net in case they go over and not spending on this side. It gives us two options. We can either find it from with instruction or we could certainly look at other categories like we've had to do in the last couple of years with transportation. We had to look elsewhere to balance I don't that. mind that going down 5,000 just to get it, just to get a starting point. Okay. I understand it's nickel and dime. So are we, <clears throat> are we reducing by 5,000 or the category or, or that line is 5,000? Reduced by 5,000. Okay. Reduced by 5,000. I don't see. 
Um, there is still office equipment in here of 2820. Page, uh, page six. Yeah, we've had several requests from uh, some of our schools, some of the front office area furniture for visitors, um, specifically Southersville Middle School and Southersville Elementary School. I've requested all year and I've held them off because we just haven't had the, the funding and we could certainly look to use that or again, that's 2820 that could be cut in your, your discretion. Um, I know it's... How long does that equipment last? Well, it depends on what it is. Well, we've, we've steered... It's in the capital budget and it doesn't belong in the operating budget. It should have been put in the capital budget. If it was there and got cut out, that's a different story. It depends on the cost of it. As the, what's a textbook cost? Yeah. Well, the textbooks are in a total category, so we're not going to buy just one textbook. So we look at textbook adoptions. All right, well, let's just for if, if we're but but if we're talking about it, we could use this to do the school. I mean, we've also got the schools. I, I would prefer not to, you know, say, oh, let's not cut that because we'll give it to schools. It, it reads here that it's, it's going to the, to the central office. Um, so I don't think we should keep, we're not in a position where we should keep things in there just in cases. I just don't think we're in a spot to do that right now. Um, I think, I'm trying to find it, I think under instruction we have furniture for the schools too, right? Um, I'm going to do that, I just haven't gotten to that. Um, there's no budget for that. Yeah, there's Page 18. We have another place we've got furniture operations. Anyhow, I'm not down to that. Either. I'll find it. Okay. Yeah, that, so, old, that equipment um, is out. We're taking that 2820? Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, there's the instruction equipment to add, replace furniture in the schools. It's, it's gone. And it's out of the capital budget, I do believe, too. Is that correct, Mr. Pender? I think... Did we take out the cafeteria tables? No, that was in the cap. That road was in the capital. The cafeteria tables now it's in the capital. Capital budget. budget. Has been removed. As we go through this, there will be some savings at year end because of energy costs we didn't spend this year and a few other things that's in um, that department. That to me could be earmarked for some of these one time uses for that department. Yep, and we can go over that again. We did um, share a bit of information about what we estimated our savings to be mm -hmm. and, and what we would be doing with that. But we can we can take it step by step. Well, I'm, I'm, well not step by step. I, I don't want to micromanage that. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's very what valid. I, what, I, what I'm thinking is if that <coughs> department saved money by reducing costs, some of their own brilliance and some of because we weren't open, and we saved $100,000, just picking a number, then that money could be earmarked to chairs and whatever they feel they need that was not put, but was taken out of our capital or something. Well, that's a question I had about our ending fund balance this year. Yeah. So um, whether we find could... a document that we said we were going to we were going to talk about that, Mr. Fister. The fund balance, um, we're still estimating around a $600,000 fund balance. I still have some credit card bills that are outstanding. I'm still waiting on a utility bill and just the end, the end of the year stuff. Um, my suggestion again um, would be to let that roll. And then we have a lot of flexibility, whether we use it on the capital um, side or on the operating side for next year for the things that just <coughs> pop up that we don't know. Um, I don't want to, you know, have a fire sale and just go out and spend some things, you know, and then next year we need it for sanitizing supplies or a new chiller um, like we had to this year. Yeah, or the refrigeration equipment or any of those things. Um, so, I mean, we only have 1.1 million dollars in our fund balance that we could go to, and uh, you know, some of the recent things that have come across my desk. I mean, we're looking at millions of dollars to open schools, and it's just not in the budget. I mean, that's what you know. So that would be my recommendation, but um, certainly um, I don't think we would want to spend it down to the seventy-eight thousand dollars that we had last not. year. And yes, didn't we produce um, a document with some of those savings? And because we were asked about yes. that. Yes. Um, it was right around June first. I have a copy here. I think we. I have six hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Is is what it was um, okay. from across all board. But keep in mind, it was also offsetting the, um, which you approved last week, the um, 
to help offset the overage in transportation That's what I and thought. one of the other categories. Thank and, you. And certainly my idea was not to spend the money just because we have it. But my no, idea I, was, I understand. Well, my idea was that if it's saved in that department, the first priority should go to that department. That's where it was originated from. That's where it should go. Then we then we also, under the direction of everybody and staff, that we put it in the most appropriate place. But that was just my suggestion. Thank you. I'm sure Mr. Pender would appreciate Mr. that. Fister. Mm -hmm. No, any, well, everybody what can. Was the There's all kinds of departments that increase from Anderson? last year. And wasn't it life insurance premium year to year? Wasn't that a huge jump? Generally, salaries, of course, are our largest, followed by health insurance. Plan. And then for and 21, yes, there was a basically a 35% increase in life insurance. And there's also likely big jump in health insurance premium. And while I was county commissioner, there was a huge jump in the pension cost. These are things the fund balance should be saved for because they got to be paid. And if there's not money around, we're in trouble. I'd almost want to see a fiduciary account set up so it could only be used for benefit increases. Can we but do that's that? A whole other we question. have that through the ESMEC Health Alliance. We have a fund balance just in the alliance itself that's used as a rate stabilization fund, which we tapped into this year to keep our rates at 6%. So I'm to page 8, and I need to clarify because I've got page. Oh, we skipped page 5. Okay, page 5. Sorry. Nope. I have a question I had asked on the board member expenses. Um, I know we have our stipends and I asked what the May dues were. I sent an email. And Did you not get that last week? Mm -hmm. That document? I didn't. I don't know. Maybe you gave us a document. I didn't. I don't remember. Didn't, I, thought I thought we handed that out. It was your answer remember. to your questions? Yeah. Hang on a second. This Let me one. look on here. Let me see what's on that. No, I, I think I asked. Yes, this one here. Mm -hmm. Is it on there? A, please. The consortium, Blackboard. Uh, I did not ask that question, sir, so no, I don't have it on here. I had asked that afterwards. I asked, I asked for actual cost of meetings in every category, but I didn't know if that included the board members' meetings. I apologize, Mr. Foster. Apologize. No, that's okay. You got a lot of questions and answers. We have, we have a long night. If you want to move on, I will. I will get that for you. I know I have, I've answered. Okay. And we were just wondering if we could take the board expenses down. No, matter of fact, uh, you and I, talked President, about we talked about that over almost a year ago. And with the exception of your your uh, stipends, and the the couple conferences, and. Um, the MABE dues, that pretty much eats up all of that. As you can see, I mean, look at your history there, 38, 36, 41, 35, and 48. It's very, um, you okay. might have a little bit of a conference thing, of we two, did, $3,000. We did not have the conference this year, so, you know, we shouldn't have spent that. Um, it was... Um, well, again, that's only, like, grand. Yeah, and so I wanted to take that out for next year, too, because it's all going to be virtual. So I wanted to let you know that. And we just They're still going to probably charge you to attend the conference, though. Mm -hmm. That's what we're finding out. Even though we're not spending the hotel or the travel just to attend the conference, the, these, these, these companies have got to make their money. So they're still going to charge you. I'm not saying MABE, but I'm just saying some of the other things that we've looked into next year already. There is still a fee to attend the virtual conference. Okay. okay, I'll keep that in mind, but that, the MABE conference is going to be virtual. I don't think MABE's going to charge us. Probably, so. And that's why I said MABE might be the exception, but so I will. We could take that out. Um, okay. Well, let's hold on to that just as a... And the year before, I mean, the only cost was a hotel, which I didn't... Personally, I was the only one who went. And the hotel, there was no hotel. I just drove back and forth because it was local. And I didn't make any <coughs> claims on mileage or anything. So that was kind of zero for that MABE conference. This one coming up will be zero also. Well, getting to meetings and conferences on here, same page, um, we have $9,000 there in meetings and conferences. Don't you agree that most of the meetings are going to be in, uh, by Zoom? Or can we take that down even more? Or Because I'd ask you about it flat across the board. And you gave me... Um, I took 8000 off of that line. Um, Meetings and conferences in every category at 48,000. 
what we spent, yes. To date. So if you take <coughs> it across the board out, leave something there on each category? We can do that. Are you doing a... Or are we doing a disservice? Uh, I may do... Um, we're about 19,000, 18,724 for FY20. Does that include our our insurance too? 19,000? No, that's the, cut, the cut dues. That's, I think it's only. Right, this is just the dues. 19,000. Mm -hmm. So that makes that a $3,000 savings. Well, that's required, isn't it? It is. Well, yes. That's fine. I'm not saying that. That leaves a three thousand dollars savings. The stipends well, let me are just 18. ask one question on this meetings and conferences. I'm looking back at fifteen. We were at twelve, then we were six, then we were nine, then we were twelve, then we we're fifteen. Now we're back to nine. I, I think it's all well and good to look and think maybe next year we're doing more virtual, and it might we might save a thousand or two thousand dollars. But the following year we might not. And if we if it's if we don't use it, we can send it somewhere else. But if we have it in there, it is a placeholder for something that's going to happen at, at, in a short period of time. And it doesn't look like it's drastic. It looks like it's gone down 3,000 since 15 and stayed pretty stable. So some of those are related to, you know, where the conference is held mm -hmm. and the amount of travel. And um, but keep in mind, the area in white is what's budgeted, not what's expensed. I understand. That's why I asked the general question of cross at all categories. We've spent 48,000 to date. Um, that's with only you know, three quarters of a year being in school. Um, just wondering if we just went ahead and took 40,000 out across the board and then they could divvy it up among each category that leaving something there. Is that, How much did like? you say it, it was worth? It's 48 that's been used so far. And, I, and budgeted, I think it's like 60000 across the board, something like that? Yeah. Okay. I to, so I to, if we just take 40000 out of meetings across the board, that way there's at least something there if they need something. Right. right? I mean, just across the board, not not going in admin, not going in instruction, not just across the board, and that way you can... You should cut it $25,000 and let them divvy it up. She said forty. I said forty. Forty. So I agree. I, I said think twenty-five. It's a good number too. Okay. Ms. Moore said forty. Twenty-five. Oh. I, I'm I asking all the board members. Some. I would say twenty-five because we don't know what we're returning to in the fall. Mr. Smith. I go along with that. Twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Fine. Thank you all. And just for clarification, we're just going to do one big motion on all of this rather than nitpicking it. Then yeah. I'd like to note the board member expenses to subtract that by 3000 Okay. Maybe 18. We're 18, the stipends and 19. Okay. So 3000 from board member expenses. And the stipends are required. Right. Right. That's 18. It's in the law. Um, um, let me see. I had more on that one page. Okay. Um, Subscription dues. Um, oh, let me see what you ended up with. We had eleven. It went up to. I mean, it went up. I think I put it down to take away another thousand. I'm putting it back to FY19 unless. Do you know what the actual is? Yeah, on there that? was an increase in a due, a due that we need a subscription we needed for. I'm not going to have actuals as of we're sitting yeah. here. We asked um, that back in, we asked that back in January, and it went up for a reason. And it, okay, yeah, let's skip that. What line? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Subscription five, five, subscriptions. But you it, answered that back in January. Yeah, it has. It's it's still at eleven thousand dollars. Yes, because it, there was an increase in, in one of them, and I, okay. I apologize, I don't have it here. So I'm sorry. You, so we cut back forty thousand on meetings and conferences. Twenty five. Twenty five. What about mileage and travel? You skip that one. That's another one I think we ought to have a lump um, sum of crossing. Well, so I asked that question as well. So actual cost of mileage and travel in every category so far this year is $65,000. So what's the total for them? So I think it's across the board. It's like 100000 across all the across all the categories. Yeah, I didn't put that in your response what the budget amount was. I, well, I, that was my calculation. Uh, I apologize. It was my... 
Yeah, we, we did see some, obviously we didn't have teachers going um, between the annex and the high school. We didn't have the home hospital teachers uh, going out to student homes. So obviously we experienced Correct. less this year. Again, caution to the wind, what is next year? Are we gonna be traveling more? Because we might have to be doing some interventions or uh, other things. It, it, again, it's that unknown, but uh, we can certainly do. The teachers that go between the high school and, and the annex are, are given a mileage? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. By IRS rules, they are traveling from one location to another. They're entitled the to reimbursable you don't mileage. Get mileage is going from your home to your workplace and your workplace yeah, to your home. Uh, you can else. Take, you can also claim it on your taxes, so, huh? and you don't have okay. to worry about so, it. Uh, mileage and travel, I think we should take some out of it. So my point was that at three quarters of a year, it was only 65,000 used. So if we only take 25 out of that category, just and leaves you something. But that just, particular category, keep in mind, we're paying it one way or the other because it's reimbursable mileage. It isn't like we use, I mean, that's where your meetings and conferences, like if you're going to a hotel or, or, or airfare or something, your mileage and travel, probably a little bit of misnomer, it's really mileage. So we're going to pay it anyway. Okay. That was but we could certainly it cut it, but to we're going to. Meetings, this goes to local and state meetings. Yes. So it's, like I said, it's basically report. mileage. I'm sorry? How is the mileage report? Is it on an expense report? Yes, it is. And and somebody signed it, I guess, an approval. Uh, four approvals. Yes. Fifty-four point eight cents per mile. Whatever the IRS rate is. Yeah. And have someone in my office that will actually deduct uh, portions but of miles. But it to make sure that it correctly put. It's analyzed quite a bit. Yes, sir. But like but I said, the, I, I, the, I've seen adjustments of point two miles. <laughs> still agree that we need to take some miles. But because of this budget, these last couple months. We haven't had some expenses, which will be a higher fund balance for us next year, which hopefully will be back to normal, which we probably won't be September the 1st. We will have those expenses, you know, on a full year basis. So if we cut something out because we didn't use it all this year, it can go into fund balance and we should be, we should be earmarked for that. But that doesn't mean next year when we have, if we have a whole year that's complete and we might have even more travel between schools if we do an an AB program where teachers have to go from one school to another, that's going to be a whole other issue for this staff to think about. Uh, How many training. categories are there? Five? So 14. <coughs> but not all, you, you mean as far as? Yes. As far 14, as, but not all of them have similar things. Like fixed charge just doesn't have mileage and travel. So my, my idea was just to take $20,000 across all the categories. That way they're leaving something there. Okay. And then we don't have to sit and do this at every single page we come up with mile and travel. Okay. Um, Twenty thousand. But, but how, how can you cut it without knowing how it's going to affect the operation? That's why we're leaving most of it in the budget for Mr. Fister and the exec team to figure out where it goes. Okay. Only cutting the increases. Um, Any other page? Yes, on the same page on uh, recruiting. Five hundred. In that. Um, it, in 19, we did. We spent 65.22. We're asking for 8,500. So we don't know what we spent this year, but I just recommend we cut back. I cut back a thousand on that. That's um, the kind of money that's optional for us to use, and we're in a spot where we have to. We have to cut things back. So that would but be are, my recommendation. Are you suggesting a hiring freeze? Therefore, we won't need this money. No. I'm suggesting a thousand off. This is a re money you spend for recruiting. But are we sure that money was spent for recruiting, or there was some ancillary stuff like publishing something about us and so on? That <coughs> sure, that's in there too. But yeah. I'm just saying we cut back a thousand dollars a month. But if but if we look at our five-year average, we're well below that at eighty-five. Way, be way below. Uh, way above. I'm sorry. Wait. Way above. If you, oh, expenditures I mean, are above or are on, on, is on, below? on recruiting uh, I see nine six yes. and three nine two fourteen three six five last year we were eight point five if I'm just doing a quick number average in that it looks like eight five is a you know what I mean we're not we're an average in that over the five years I mean we, 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 we went down it looks like from year 18 to 19 drastically from 14 three to six five it'll also be influenced based on what happens to the specialists. We will talk about 
closed session items. I say just leave that alone for now, please. And then professional improvement was the last one. I don't know where we ended up saying. Yeah. The remaining flights. Yeah. Our support just, staff to fly. attend seminars and in service training. Um, that's a huge difference there from 800 to 2,500. Unless there was a specific class they're going to take. I thought that was a pretty big jump. So just to just to reset the bar a little bit, Cap Kelly, what you're seeing there is what was actually spent. Th this budget could have been twenty five hundred dollars for the last ten years. So you're not you're not. It's just been flat. It just last year we didn't have something to go to. So um, it was only eight hundred and three dollars. Whatever department used this, um, you go to the year before and they used every bit of it. So it, I guess it depends on the. Uh, seminar that might be happening that particular year but it's not that we increased the budget from 803 to 2500 uh, we're sitting at 2500 we're requesting it stay at 25 or would you approved as a requested budget that it stay at 2500 but certainly use the actuals to gauge uh, future expenditures if you'd like we're not sure what the actual is right now. Not not for each one of these specific line items no I don't have access to my financial system at the current current moment well, the yep, average we, of that is like 1200 well, well if you're looking i'm just looking at actuals for 15 16 17 18 and 19 if we're working on recruiting we spent nine six ten three nine two fourteen three the last year we spent 6.5 and 19 this year as john says we have not come to our thing we have eight five budgeted which when i see what we spent over the last five years that seems like a realistic average of what we've been spending. I'm on the next line. I'm sorry. You're on professional. In, you're in professional improvement. <clears throat> okay, we spent three three one nine six hundred and fifty four dollars two point four and eight hundred. You know, fifteen we spent more than that, and the other three we haven't. Well, eighteen you were pretty good, John. You spent everything but twenty one dollars. And we uh, good agreed man. to move on because well, I that's we're nine. Just, okay, let's agree to move on. Try to find some other real cost savings. That I, I understand it's a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars. Just keep it on our back burner. That if we need another thousand dollars, that's where we are. Miss Harper, if I could revisit recruiting, is there's no reduction in recruiting? Did I hear that? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we need. Okay. H six we've already addressed. See the Eastern Shore Consortium hasn't gone up in five years. Thank Correct. Goodness. Correct. It actually costs more, but because we're the fiscal agent for that, uh, we're flat at ten thousand dollars. That's fabulous. Okay. Um, but that is actually off the budget. Correct. According to the scenario one. No, because the scenario one is only um, in, for the increases. Oh, okay. Okay. So mid level and I see on here secretaries. So we had had a discussion about the athletic secretaries. Is that retirements? The retirements mm -hmm. there. Is it Pedro? I'm not on any page oh, okay. at the moment. I'm just asking for clarification. Is that something we talk about in closed session or can we discuss it here? Closed session. Thank you so much. Okay. Um I'm at page nine. Is anybody else throw, that far up? Just keep moving. Since 11, so. Okay, that's fabulous. Page 10, leaving office supplies and postage alone because we have no idea. This is the schoolhouse. This is your front office yes. at your schools. Yeah, because we have no idea about what's going to happen with that. And page 11. The well, question I have is subscription and dues again. You had... We had approved 2020 11,500 and then we requested 7,500. Wait, I don't know where that ended up. 11,500. There was no, in, in your budget that you approved in March, there was no reduction to that line. But, but you all had recommended a $4,000 reduction. So I recommend we take that. And what page are we on? Page 11, under subscriptions and dues. It was something else in that category you had talked about in January reason why it was had increased 5,000 and 
by 2020. There was some reason. I can't remember. Yeah. So just take it, you're taking 5,000 from there? The, the 4,000 Four. basically that they recommended back in October that okay. we subtracted. So just 4,000. Right, just four. Okay. And the meetings, we've, we've already touched that. Meetings. Right. Are you keeping tabs of where we are? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I had under, on page 14, uh, I think I had asked you about other instructional positions. Yes, yeah, so the, the $122,000 reflective here is still the, the 100 for the um, minimum wage, and I have not had an opportunity to go back and, and recalculate that. And, and, it's, and honestly, it's going to be difficult because we didn't have those people working since April. Right. So it'll be a, it'll be a rough estimate. It, there could be some savings there. Um, that was just basically what it cost us the prior year. I think we were within $1,000 of the prior year. The same amount goes up. But again, it's one of those variables. We don't know where we're going to be, what the temporary help situation is going to, whether the need exists, increased or decreased. So, but that's that's 100 of the 122 there. And Okay, so on, on here where we have temporary help and minimum wage, that is where this is. Yes. On page 14. Yes. Yes. So is it prudent to take out 50,000 just for right now to see where we are? Certainly do that. I mean. It's, it's prudent to take it out. And then to see if it's. But where are you going to get it from if you need it? Well, part of this raise, though, was, was bringing people up to minimum wage, and then it was bringing other people up even higher than that. And how did we make that decision, how much people would get more just to because they're no longer at minimum wage. Generally, we try to keep it consistent. Um, if if one step was 5% higher, or one, sat, one hourly wage was 5% higher than the next one, then we would just continue to perpetuate that. If this one came up to where this is, then we would raise this one. Is that so, where you made that decision on the 122? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it was, again, the 122 is based on prior year's history because we had a full year. This year, I don't have a full year to compare that to, but. That's where the hundred thousand came from. But but you because stop it at somewhere. That's for minimum wage people and and yes. and hourly. It's yes, because there's not, still a gap between the minimum wage and then our benefited employees. These are non-benefit employees. Yes, sir. And substitutes, right. but um, that might fall into that minimum wage arena. Okay. So just just for right now, fifty fifty thousand. And the staff development activities was my, my other one on that was, um, I don't know, in, in the following along with the, the, Mr. Smith, maybe that shouldn't be changed. We should change I just it. hear we cut $50,000 out of next year's budget because we didn't use it because of COVID in no. this year. Okay. I no, just that's want to make not sure at all, sir. Okay. So do you want to take out the 18000 increase on staff development? On staff development. Yes. Just take the increase out for now. Okay. And I and I believe on one of the pages we had discussed the new teacher mentor program of fifty thousand. Is that also something that we uh, uh, it was a different document. It was a different document, but we had we had discussed it. So is that That was one of your scenario cuts. That, yeah. So could we offer that now as a scenario cut? Fifty thousand new teacher mentor program. That's a new position. Right? No, it's not a position. It's a program. Program. Okay, new program. Um, let me just look one second if you don't mind. Back up one page. We skipped 13. Was I had, had down the teacher subs? I wanted to find out more about that because that's a hundred thousand. Maybe it isn't. I'll check my, my new page. Is that a hundred thousand dollar? No. If, if there's a no, you took that off. Never mind. Yeah. Now the hundred thousand was the note from what you approved as the FY20. All right. Sorry. I take it. Um, and actually, Ms. Harper, I'm going to put the 18403 on there. I just want to make sure some of the information I have in front of me that it, it isn't part of the 50,000. Reduction. We talk. I think it. Okay. I think it's separate, but uh, I'd like to double check. Thank but you. I'll, but I have it on the list. Thank you. And um, 
under the under the teacher substitutes, you and I had talked about that. We were only at like we're, we're substitutes. Yeah, if I did a simple calculation, I think we would have been overspent in that if we took yes. that divided by the number of days we were in school versus the rest of the year. If we had stayed we, the rest of the year, if we, we would have stayed the rest of the year. At this number of 600,000, almost to like the penny. Almost. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So there's no increase there. So, you know, I, I just agree to leave that alone. Yeah, I agree that we did not increase it on this new okay. page. Okay. Okay. Just, it's, so page 14, we're already through that. Page 15. We needed the, mic oh, the microscope repair and the band equipment. 15. Yeah, that's brand new. That is one brand of the new. cuts that's off of your scenario um, that Are we had been requested that? and Are had, we, has since it? been cut. It has been cut. In in this scenario. I mean, you could certainly put it back, but as, as far as that $1.9 million or $2 million number you're looking into, the 6000 that's in this document is has out. already been used towards that. Okay. New, that's a new item, right? Okay. The other one is the um, uh, EO uh, Equal Opportunity School Consultant. Um, I recommend we pull that out. Wait, what did you end up with? Forty-eight thousand. Okay, what is the forty-eight thousand? Because the original was thirty-three one eighty. Um, the other fifteen thousand uh, dollars was transferred um, to mid level. To mid level, and I want to believe. Eight, so my mind slips um, for 2021 we needed to transfer 15 it, it, it it's not an increase it's a, you'll see a reduction in one of the other areas to properly align it from the state category um, I want to say it was in instruction and um, I'm sorry mid-level administration fifteen thousand dollars that needed to be moved in instruction because of the basis of the professional development it was for teachers it was not for oh. assistant principals is your sheet before said that it was moved out of this category out of instruction to mid-level management which is what ended up a fifteen thousand dollar so-called savings in just the movement of the money on the, the october sheet you gave us on the October one said um, 15,000 was transferred to mid-level administration. So out of the 48,000 that on here is 30,000 as to equal opportunity schools? No, th uh, that's a side issue. The 33,180 oh, okay. is what ended up requested in 2021, but on this new sheet that 15. Yeah, the 15 was not not taken, out. Not, not taken out. You're right. And it was not added because I went back and looked. It's not added. So. Um, so is that where it, this sort of reset the bar? I would I would say that again, just like some of the other cuts that was not moved, that we did not take the fifteen thousand, but it should. But it's only, it's only going to be an add back to mid level administration. But I'd have to look at some prior notes to see exactly what that was for. Okay, so it doesn't go anywhere. No, it doesn't. It's just okay. between it, the two categories. But it, yeah, but it that category is going to end up thirty three one eighty. And what is that thirty three one eighty consultant by us? I what, believe that is the Equal Opportunity Schools okay. contract. And that's the program I was thinking of dropping for 33000 So a question would be how much are you, rather than call out Equal Opportunity Schools, which is a program that um, keeps us trained and help, well, keeps us trained, but provides professional development for us, works with our high school teachers to ensure that our students of color and students who are living in poverty have equal access to advanced level courses. I think rather than call that out specifically and say that's not important, that you talk about the amount that you want to leave in that line and let us decide how we would like to allocate those dollars. Well, and if that's the case, if that's the only thing that's there, then there's... I'd like to reduce that 33,000. If that's all that's there, and are you going to get another program to put in there? I mean, I, I, all I'm saying is, I know that I understand that program. I have all the paperwork on it. And it, as I understand it, it was a program that gets the students that would ordinarily do um, 
dual enrollment or would ordinarily do an AP class and it works to encourage them to do that. And we've been doing that now for a couple of years and they, they understand the program now. So I don't see the purpose in continuing to have a consultant on that because I think the, the, the counselors are now trying to get the kids to do that, whoever they are. And um, I think I'm, I think we're, we're there is my point. I don't, but I, I don't get a vote. So, but like I said, rather than decide which program is uh, a higher priority than another, if you think about the amount of money that you want to leave in that line, then we'll take care of the rest. Okay. No, okay. My point is it's not, I think we're done with that line. I don't. Okay. Ms. Smith, Ms. Morissette. In or out. Are, are we talking about consultants in that line there? Yes. I'm going to go back to this other thing. And I, I, look, I'm going to be the first one. We need some major cuts. So, and this is a start. Yeah, but we're at 79, 61, 79, 24, and 70 actual. We're only looking for 48 this year. 38, 33, 180. 33 this year. It's 33. Yeah. One, there's a, a 15,000 deduct that will move to a different category. So the, One contract for 33,000 is what we're looking at. And the for. state pays the other half of it. Yes. It's, yeah, but it's a matching. Mm -hmm. They match, right? They match. But we still, 33,000 comes out of our budget. Right. Ms. Morrison, yes or no? No. Well, when I started this, I said we ought to take the money out and let the staff sort out what it is that needs to be done because I don't think any of us are totally aware of what has to happen, what be good to happen, what's legally responsible. I say it stays in. Mr. Smith? I agree with that. Stays in? Yes, sir? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, moving on. Anybody else with page 15? Page 16, mater materials of instruction. And I think I had asked you. But can I clarify, we're staying at the 48180? It's 33180, it will be moved. Oh, like the, the from the October, okay. Yes, yes. it's 33180 on that line item. So on page 16 in materials of instruction, I had asked Mr. Pfister, um, Oh, I had only asked you for special ed. I didn't ask you across the board. Sorry, sir. Um, and this is $97,000 increase on this line item. We have no idea what we're gonna need so, um, for next year. On your um, questions, Ms. Harper, question number three, um, I did list. Oh, you just, you did, thank you so much. But again, that's only three quarters of the year. If we yeah, had, schools, okay. I mean, so, this is this is hitting the classroom. Yeah, so uh, I had asked, materials of instruction increase, or what we had paid to date in the three quarters of a year, $595,000. If we had gone all the way to June, I mean, certainly 704,000 would have definitely been used. And we have no idea about next year. And it's at $97,000 increase. <clears throat> Does anyone have any suggestions? What, what's the um, $100 per teacher? Yes, ma'am, that was and, negotiated. Yes. Um, FY20 was the first year where we're paying every classroom teacher uh, $100. Oh, so that's reflected in this line item. It was reflected, okay. in, it reflected in the approved budget, yes, ma'am. And ma negotiation, okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, I, I think one thing we learned that when we went to virtual learning, after a week or two, a lot of parents started requesting packets it increased substantially. And if we go to whatever option or anything less than normal school September the 1st, there's gonna be all kinds of things that when students aren't in class, things are gonna have to go home with them. So I think that's a, a slippery slope to change too much right now, because I think we could have a lot of expenses if your students going every day are gonna be out for a day or two, materials might have to be sent home that we have, that, that you know we don't have for right now. Ms. Morissette? We learned a lot. This line I might not touch. <clears throat> you don't want to touch? Got it. Mr. Anderson, you want to touch? 97,000 in materials instruction increase. Which line? Uh, page, page 16, materials of instruction. There's $97,000 increase. I'm looking for the number 97,000. I'm not. It's oh, on I, the side. Oh, I see. It's just the whole. Yes. Adding of that. 
I mean, that's that's. Well, oh, thirty thousand of them should stay, <laughs> for sure. And um, I find it difficult to cut thirty thousand dollars out and leave sixty thousand dollars to train athletes. Well, I, I, no, this is in materials of instruction. Materials and instructions. Yes, sixteen. It's page 16. When did we move that up? Because in October, they were used, your estimate Again, was the same as what it was do I know? in okay. 2020. Okay. Just wondering what, we moved that up. The 97,000? 97, 97,000. Do you yeah. want to leave it as it is? No. no. Underneath you want to take paper how much up? Because originally it was 704. Follow at the bottom. So here. I took yeah, away, right under there. like, when did I, yeah. I took away. But, you know, if you take 97,000, and divided by our students, you're talking around twelve dollars a student. Right. I don't know. Turn to page sixteen. So just, tell uh, me again, Mr. Smith. If you take ninety-seven thousand dollars and divide it by our number of students, you're around twelve dollars a student. Correct. So when you start sending things home, a packet, uh, even if you have to mail something to a student that might not be there for a few days, over the course of a year, this is, is is peanuts. Okay. Well, I agree to leave it in there. So, page, anything else on page 16? We're not touching materials instruction, Mr. Fister. Okay. Uh, mileage and travel, page 17, we've already touched a few of those. A dual enrollment, we already know that was over budget mm -hmm. by $1,000. And, and good for those students taking dual enrollment. Um, no increases anywhere else on One page? Question you, sure. The mileage travel meetings and conferences those are all groups they're all they're already grouped okay. yes thank you that's all i had yep can i ask yes please not really budget wise but this impact on the teacher of the year how does that impact that program does, does that teacher still make appearances and like how how would that be affected that's not a is that a separate category for her no yeah, would the mileage and I don't know. Yeah. affect her? I mean, sure. we, I don't we, know we have, oh, what sorry, they're going to do in terms of having them travel as much as they did. I, I don't have that information. They haven't shared anything like that yet. Okay. Um, but if it's not a separate category, then it would be coming from here. Yeah, okay. It's only 3000 Yeah, no. it's 3000 and, and that's reimbursable things for the Teacher of the Year for some of the events they go to mm -hmm. um, and actually paying the insurance on the car that they got as a free car. Okay. for the use we, but we i'm sure she missed that. some things that would normally have happened toward the end of the year this uh for fy20 yeah. yes mm -hmm. okay um but we're still going to move forward with the, the teacher of the year for 21. okay mm -hmm. it'll just look very different than we haven't got word on how it's going to change so sometimes they are meeting together sometimes they are going to different um speaking engagements but I don't know what they're going to do just yet in terms of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I would imagine that there will be something. I don't know if they're going to do some of it virtually. Oh, okay. Just haven't gotten word yet. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you. Page 17. Uh, no other increases. Any other questions on that page? Page 18. Uh, we've already talked about the tuition of out of, and out of county placements. That's pretty much. Well, you know, I just, uh, I think, add at home again, we've talked about it earlier, equipment funds to add to replace furniture and equipment in schools. You know, it was a 29, 7, 9, 13, 7. Now we're not approving anything. Right. We have to, I mean, things wear out. So I think we would be very conscious, if we leave this at zero, that we earmark some money that's left over this year in certain categories to, to address that issue. I think Mr. Fister said it the best is that if something immediate comes up, you know, a cafeteria table, God forbid, breaks, we have the fund balance to replace that t table. I, it's I, not perfect. Um, I understand, but if there. it doesn't get, if it doesn't get brought up at times, and I just I'm not trying to beat a dead horse, but I just think it's something needs to be addressed. Okay, page 19. Uh, one quick question: Out of county placements. Where are we on that? You gave it to us at the last. We did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I missed that. Sorry. Yeah. No. It was. It was. What are we up to? It's like only fifteen thousand, I think. Yeah. Eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Oh. Um, we only have, I think, three students that are placed elsewhere. I am waiting on a bill. Uh, if we have any um, 
any bills from Department of Juvenile Services. But I'm still waiting on that. I have the Office of Student Services looking into that, but I, I can't imagine yeah. it would make up to that. It's only 50,000 in there. Yeah, but next year, I mean, you can see the history there. It, it varies. Mr. Fister. Yes, sir. Is this net of the money that we get for students that come here? No. Some other? No, this is our expense. Um, send somebody somewhere else. And to send somewhere somebody else somewhere else. Some we budget a revenue, so it's not net, okay. but there is revenue that we budget on the revenue side, which is okay. part of that $400,000 of other income. Okay. I mean, if it's nominal, it's not nominal. making up a step or a, yeah, a position. Well, our school system is so good, people will want to send their kids here, I would think. So, uh, every. Do you want to take anything out of out of county placements, Mrs. Morissette? Mm -mm. No. No. Mr. Smith? No. Mr. Anderson, do you want to take anything out of that? Okay. Age 19. Okay. Special ed. Moving on to 20. I think this is all. I know there's a $7,000 increase in other instructional positions on home hospital instruction. I think that is going to increase exponentially, especially students who are not want to come to our system with uh, this, uh, special, in, special this needs and, you know, um, it's concern. concerned. So I think we should leave that one alone if everyone is amenable to that. Which one? The other instructional positions, the home and hospital instruction, people have immune systems, compromised immune systems. They may want to stay. I mean, I see that number going up. That is, that's gone up 7,000. Well, it's going to go up more. Over, it's gone up like. Yeah, it's going to go up more. There's a lot of students that are going to want to stay home. 14,000. And keep in mind, this is only for special ed students. Right. Okay. You'll see um, in student personnel services. Um, there, there's an increase there. Yes, I see that happening. Consultants, therapists, uh, page 21, we've already addressed that, that we knew that was going to be increased. Mm -hmm. It's your behavioral specialist that's reflected in your scenario, Correct. your one-page scenario. Well, we had that. Is that also, oh, that's just in special ed. Okay, you're right. The contract with the school psychologist and the speech pathologist follows under instruction, sir? Um, psychologists would. Um, I forget. Speech I therapists know. fall under special education. Okay, thank you. But psychologists are under instruction. Thank you. The page 22, the 504 plan software, we, we had a presentation on that, correct? Mm -hmm. And we approved that 25,000. Address meeting conferences, knowledge if I, travel. Correction, Ms. Harper. That is out of, I mean, we could certainly add it back, but it is out of the scenario uh, that it, it was one of the recommendations that it would be, as Ms. Morris had mentioned, the $7,000 for Comar training would be one of those things that we have in place and we will just hope to experience savings elsewhere, but it would not be budgeted um, under the, one of the, the current scenario. Which one was that? This, this year, the 25000 for um, the software. Okay. So just wanted to keep that in mind. So that's a possibility to, ha to add back? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Thank you. The 25250. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. On page 22. Correct. Page 23. Okay, so page 24, I don't see any. The non-public placements. So that's where we are, or possibly. Yeah, again, it varies year to year. Um, it's gone up dramatically. Um, but again, both of these scenarios that's listed in the document we've been going through on page 24 is not in your um, one of the scenarios the executive team presented you. Uh, both of those would be at current level. We would fund the 
um, increase in the Midshore Special Ed Consortium. Probably one more year we could do that with um, our Medicaid, our third party billing revenue that we receive. After that, we would definitely have to step up and that would be a request in the FY22 budget. And then as far as the tuition, we just hope that it favors us better in 21 uh, than it has in 19 and 20. So you're talking about the $130,000 increase in the yes. special and the, ed transfer? Yes, and the 255. They yes. are both coming out? They were both out of one of the scenarios and one would one would be covered with Medicaid funds, the special aid consortium, because it does provide direct services. That's most appropriate use of those funds. And the 255, again, unless you decided to add that back, that would be something um, that we would just hope to have better experience um, going forward. If not, um, because of maintenance of effort, we'd have to pay for it anyway. We'd have to find savings somewhere else, as we're doing with a lot of these budgets. But we've had that. We've done transfers to that now because we were short, weren't we? Yes. Yes. So, I mean... We also had cost savings in a couple other categories in order to cover off, offset some of that right the 230 we just did that at the last meeting okay so so as i understand it the 130 is already out as is the 255 as is a 255 mm -hmm. okay and we can leave certainly leave them out if you and desire pray for better days yes okay thank you good way of budgeting pray for better days <laughs> Page 26, student personnel services. Staff. Okay, so all, most of this is just the salary enhancements. Yes. Okay, this is page 27. I know we have a big lump sum we're taking out of there, but can we give guidance since we have control of the budget on out-of-state kind of meetings that we just we don't want to do those kinds of meetings? I mean, I don't know of anything that we would need to do. I don't believe that that's... I, we've just taken a lump sum out. I don't right. think that we really have control over who goes where. Well, we're taking the lump sum right now for the budget purposes, so... The how is really up to them how they spend the money that we give to them. All right, we took twenty five thousand out of meetings and conferences. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just let's. It's good. To my frame of mind, page twenty seven, we're across the board. That little five hundred dollar increase is, is out also. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, on that page, the home hospital teachers, are we going to look at it? Page 27. Page 27. Possible increase because of the situation that could arise returning you, to school. You're referencing mileage and travel? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and, and as you, you see, we've... <laughs> Bare bones, that one. And, and across the board... Um, you've already requested to take $20,000. Not that this one particular line would be hit, but somewhere we have to find $20,000 in your scenarios tonight uh, in mileage and travel. That one I wouldn't recommend not. Right. But, you, but they're, they're going to make that decision based on the... Correct. Okay. Yeah. So. And again, we have to pay it anyway. Yes, we have to pay it anyway because what they get it when they're traveling. Page 29. Here's your school health coordinator that is in the budget. Right. The balance is in fixed charges for benefits. Correct. Supplies, so page 30, there's no increases there. Page 32. This is where the one um, special education bus drivers come in, and then and that's reflected there with bus drivers one plus oh, 29. Okay. So this is in the budget, even though there's a, a decrease in overall salaries there in um, transportation. It's just how the salaries it takes you two years to catch up as far as people moving in and moving out. So so this does accurately reflect the addition of one driver. So, okay, so this bus driver that's on here, Mr. Pfister, on your page here, mm -hmm. 
this? Oh, I'm is sorry. Re- yes, this is here. here. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Very You're much. welcome. And then I see there's a decrease in the bus, the drivers and bus assistants. Yeah, it's just how the how full-time salaries okay. work out over the course of a year. Thank you. Okay, mm-hmm. page 33, we have negotiated contracts with bus drivers, bus contractors. Mm-hmm. We are already, Mr. Pinder went through all of this about the bus inspections and the safety training, maintenance. Yeah, and in, and in these, as we've talked about over the last couple uh, months, as we group them as um, transportation needs, operation of plant needs, maintenance of needs, technology needs. This was the result of those requests. So if, as you're looking through it, certainly we could say take the $7 bus inspection or the 8,000 in safety training, but you would need to be cognizant because some of that money is being offset by reductions that Mr. Pinder had put in the budget, like bus repairs on page 34. So some of them are offset, not that it, so the total increase in transportation in your request is the driver, um, and some about twenty thousand dollars in overtime, and then forty thousand five hundred dollars in those myriad of seven thousand, eight thousand, minus ten thousand. So, um, if if we're going to take out any of the ads, we want to be cognizant of the subtractions as well, because it's sort of a self-balancing thing there. Where, where do we stand on the bypassing of the arm? Uh, for stop school buses, uh, that presentation we heard a couple of weeks we'll ago. Bringing that to the July 1st board meeting. Pardon It'll me? be at the July 1st board meeting of the presentation. Oh, good. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, so page 34. So uh, I, I have a question about the field trips. I know we have a $10,000 increase. Is it necessary to keep that there? Do we even think we'll have field trips? Um, we may, I mean, we may not, I'm sure we'll have something before the year is done in spring, but we may not. So if, I mean, if that needs to be reduced, then it'll be reduced. So 10,000 out of the field trips. Everyone all right with that? I agree with that. That's mainly, uh, when it says field trips, it's athletic competitions is mainly what that is. Okay. So, okay, gotcha. and, and this you. one says, and college trips, oh, the college trips, yeah. right, would the, probably. That's the ad, the, the 10,000 was for the mm-hmm. college. Most of it is athletics. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. So, if we, if we return to school with some of the scenarios, sports may still be happening. Mm-hmm. Right. So, we still. Well, so, and, and, this, and we this also money. talked about having sports delayed, you know, you might have a spring football. Or something. I'm just saying that, but you know, or something might. If it doesn't happen in the fall, it's still want to give the children or the students the opportunity. Placeholder to come out, not right. like it's set in stone yet. I mean, but the extra ten was only for college college visitations. I'm not sure they're going to. They're doing it all virtual mm-hmm. now. Well, we don't know. We haven't gotten no anything idea. yet. And come spring, they'll be making more right. of those visits. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes, Miss Morissette. Yes or no? Ten in or out? Keep. 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 All right, we'll keep it. Uh, Bus operation, not touching that. Uh, Just a question to understand. Insurance for buses provides liability insurance for all buses through Maryland Association of Boards of Education. All buses, the LLCs, the yes, sir. or just the ones we own? County own. Good question. Kate, uh, page 35. Kind of interesting. It's all interesting. Page 36. Anybody? It's a pretty big increase. It is. Uh, that, that's the insurance pool that you were talking about, sir? The $20,000 increase? Are we, is that accurate, the 20000 increase? Mm-hmm. Look at, look at our current cost. Our current cost was $82,000. That's true. Uh, well, last year's cost. This year, it's not going down. So this year's could be a little bit more. Well, well it makes... Was there accidents? Was there payouts? It's it's in the, the pool, and, and oh, Mr. Penner can certainly speak more eloquently than I could, but basically we're in the insurance pool, so all of the risk is pulled together. Well, I understand that. It stabilizes rates. But we didn't have any accidents. Obviously, someone else did. 
not it, it's it's driven by claims yes so other school systems we didn't have any major claims other school systems might have had some major claims which pushed that up what? for this upcoming year it's pretty much going to be remaining flat at what it was for last year thank you okay um auto expense everything else is pretty flat on that page uh, not to belabor this, but doing so. The actual for 2019 was uh, 82.1, and the requested was 86.5, yet the increase was 20,000. That's right. That's over the approved 60 uh, year before. From the current year, sir. We, current. We, we got hammered again with something we had no control over. Just pointing out that sometimes a little bit of lubrication and a budget uh sometimes you need to find the money from someplace and that's why we're sticking with this mm -hmm. 20 increase okay went to operations plant h38 this is all so staff, salaries. staff and staff salaries and, him and uh, negotiating agreements page 39 no increases there Page 40, this is a part of the cost of doing business that was given to us by Mr. Pender earlier, correct? The 30? And some of this we might be able to recoup with um, CARES or those kind of, that kind of money, COVID money. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to change it. I'm just saying that's a possibility, right? Possibility, but it would only be up to 75% um, of the cost, but that's going directly through FEMA, and we'd have to work through the county government to secure those funds. So we still have a lot of work and a lot of um, analyzing to do, but we're not going to get 100% reimbursement. I understand. I'm just saying maybe some of that will. Mm -hmm. So the technology operational increases of here on 5,300, that is not here on operation of plant, correct? That's somewhere else? No, that's probably part of that ten thousand six hundred dollar increase. Okay. I have to look at my I'm detail, sure but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And that's and again, that's repairs. just that's just the the standard cost of software and supplies continually going up, as we talked about when you approve the uh, make agreement. There's a standard two to three percent escalator in most of our contracts with software and technology. Thank you. That was the one we cut that in half, right? Did we cut it in half? Or yeah, we, we cut it. Yes, I'm sorry. You're exactly right, Dr. Kane. So it was 10-6 in your budget, and now in your reconciliation, it's 5-3. 53. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kane. Uh, 41, operations of plants. I only see the insurance on the vehicles, which we can't do anything about that. I did. I, that was for everything up to that point. I had mileage and stuff, so we're done with this. But yes. um, on this particular page, I was going to ask... Um, it about the utility issue um, we we approved 2109 I know that's real low the utilities right now right Com because of the buildings being everything being closed down and then we've estimated well I'm, I'm sorry let me see what has changed then first um, yeah 210 so that hasn't changed and we want to keep it there though I was going to reduce that. Utilities? Yes. What? I was thinking of reducing that one. That was my only one on there. My question is, uh, the average is, um, well, the year the year before, it, I think I had the average of uh, between 2018 and 2021 was 2,079,000, the average, as Dick talks about. And we're asking for for 210 uh, or 2109 800 so it's about a thirty thousand dollar more than what the average of the last four years yeah, yeah but the uh, here's another scenario to look at this of the five that we got actuals on take the high one out which is 2.5 and take the low one out which is 1.9 and then take the other three they're all around two one so you know when you talk utilities you're talking weather and a lot of things variable. So I see going from two five to one nine, that's six hundred thousand dollars in five years. So I take the high one out, the low one out, and take my three middle ones, I'm all around two one, which is right where we are. So I'm pretty comfortable with that number. It's that's the way up that's that scenario. Just one idea. Yeah, I wouldn't reduce this. <clears throat> Mr. Anderson. 
reducing operational utility costs. So you didn't do really the average. Well, you can. I mean, there's, there's, there's. I did totally the average. Okay. There, there's, but that's I mean, I, if I, I take the average, then if I take the average for five years, I'm still around two one probably. Okay. But okay. you know, I'm just looking at 2015, and we probably got a lot more efficient. Probably put some thermal in somewhere. We were two five. Yeah, and then last so 19, the last good year was one nine seven. So, but the other three years were two one. So that to me seems like a pretty fair number. Okay. So, Mr. Smith, you are for not taking it out any well out. Mrs. Morris, that's not for taking any out. Correct. Even with students not in the building, you still have to have some of these things running, so you don't have, so you have circulating air, so then you don't end up with other health issues when they do come back in the building. It wasn't having to do anything to do with students in the building. That my my figures weren't anything to do with that. So, but that's fine. You guys only need thirty thousand in. I'm trying to find places that we can see. I'm it. not for taking it out because I know we'll have a hard winter and I'm going to hear Mr. Pender squeal about how we have water coming through pipes. So, yeah. I'm we got a sale on snow shovels. Yes. Okay, page 42. Uh, the custodial equipment, we have all agree that that's staying in because we have no idea what we're going to be needing for when the schools open up. Yeah, because, I mean, we're here to cut this budget, which I'm all for. That figure right there. Could go could go up drastically. Yes, incredibly. The vehicle replacement, though, uh, to, are we? Really That's out of your. It's out of the. Out budget. of the, the one storage. of the reconciliation scenarios. This was okay. just what was approved in your budget. Okay, so this twelve thousand is, is already out. accounted for. Okay, in the, in, the, okay. in the difference. Thank you. Now we're at maintenance of plants. 44, that page 44 is staff. Page 45, repairs to buildings, you went down $6,000. Is that? Is that prudent? Yes. But again, it was offset by some of the increase in maintenance contracts. And okay. So yeah, it was just some of the rebalancing that we okay, did. Okay, so the, so this maintenance contracts where it's up twenty eight thousand is offset by the reducing the repairs of building at six thousand. Yes, ma'am. Because we but we have then estimated. again then that was cut in half. Yes. <laughs> oh, so this is actually fourteen. That's though? actually fourteen. Thank you. <clears throat> and on page forty six, that is twenty. Okay. As reflected in your one-page summary, maintenance okay, so of plan operation includes this increases is 34. This would so be 14. repairs to buildings, page 46 is at 20,000. Yes. Page 47 addressed all of these issues. Page 48, no increases. Fixed charges, page 50, which, yeah, retirement costs, FICA, tuition, tuition reimbursement, health insurance. Page 51, insurance, workman's comp, liability insurance. The life there, insurance it, um, piece. Yeah, the, the life insurance is in there. That's that huge increase that Mr. Anderson had talked about. Okay. Um, the, the unemployment one, is, of course, concerns me, um, but uh, we'll, we'll leave it as is. Have we got any direction on that as far as? Um, I believe we can take a partial credit on our 941, um, but I haven't gotten any definitive answers on that. Because you know, employers like myself, we have, I mean, they're not giving us any direction of how we're going to be able to address it. Yeah. It's a 941. It's a quarterly tax report that we send to the federal government on our withholdings from employees. 941 goes to the state and 940 goes to the federal government. Okay, so the life insurance and retiree costs, the retiree insurance costs are staying level? S staying level. Um, there, there probably will be a small decrease because we did change our Medicare provider. However, on the offset because of this Medicare provider, we wouldn't get as much revenue in on our retiree drug subsidy. So they kind of washed themselves out. I think I'll readjust that after we get through this year to see where we are. So you'll be able to see a decrease in some revenue, but you'll see a decrease in the cost for next year as well. 
Okay. So I recommend we leave this here. So with all this. By my calculations, I've saved $118,973. Mm -hmm. Hundred eighteen. Yes, ma'am. Because we have to add back the twenty-five two fifty for the five hundred four for the five hundred four, and then I I have five thousand. That last five thousand dollars, whether it's in or out, um, that we had talked about um, to custodial supplies. So, okay. So I have five hundred four has to be added back in. Okay. I have to. Yes, because it was cut out of your scenario. If you want to go forward with that, or we leave it out. If we were to take that out, we will have saved $144,223. It's two positions. No, it's worth it. Um, and then we'll still have, if we use $200,000 of the fund balance. That's already in your scenario as That's well. So that scenario. doesn't okay. reduce that 1.941 gap. So, um, let me just get you some numbers. So to get to the 144.223, that would mean not going forward with the 504 plan software. Where do we stand right now? Uh, how close uh, with all of this, how close are we uh, or how far away is probably- That's what better. I was getting ready to add up. Oh, good. Yeah. 1.8. Yeah. One one million seven hundred ninety-seven thousand six hundred and fifty-one dollars. Still left to find. So you said the fund balance is um, in here. Already in it. On yes. Fund balance is it? Up up top, where it says fund balance negative thirty-four, and the note to the side that we will use two hundred thousand dollars of fund balance, and that use of two hundred thousand dollars was also approved by the county commission. Two hundred is in, and we're, we're at one million seven. Seven million eight. One seven nine seven. One point eight million. So it didn't change. No. But it really we, didn't change much. We it were, is the cost of two positions. That's the point. That's important for us to say. It, it was the cost we're, of we're two not positions, even close. which is important. We, we not, know. We're not close. Okay. We're, I'm no, surprised we're, that we did all of this and we, we've ended up in the, exactly where we started. Well. well in, fair, in fair to Mr. Schuster, I think he mentioned that earlier. A couple yes. of Mike meetings ago, that yes. you know we can we can nickel and dime, not nickel and dime look for a thousand couple, but that's not the real nut we have to crack. I'm not criticizing the exercise. I'm just saying that the result. No. The, well, we we all eight, knew that going in. We eighty six percent. Eighty six percent of our budgets and salaries and benefits. That's right. And we're talking about people. And Miss Harper, if you throw in the virtual learning academy, that brings it down to. One six three nine. Not quite done there. Okay. Um, did anyone else have anything else they wanted to bring up that can be talked about in open session? I make a recommendation that we go into a closed session. Second. I, no, I haven't made the motion yet. But I just think that we need to have a discussion, closed session about further. <clears throat> We had this. We had this all worked out. Um, yes. Not. It's up to you. Maybe we don't. So that is a question. Um, uh, I'm willing to go ahead and make a motion. Have a motion made to take all these cuts and the 255 for the 504 back into it, just to show that you know we're making a good. I mean, we're making in good faith effort to get this budget down. The Just for clarification, are we adding back the money for the 504 plan or leaving it out of your reconciliation? 504. 25. $25,250. Explain that again, what we're voting on. I'm not sure. The 504? You're saying, you're saying the 504 plan? What, what it is or, or so what are we what are we so so in this scenario the 504 plan has not been funded when we went through the line item detail you added it back but then there's been some discussion about whether it should stay or whether it should further come out because that's no I was obviously make reduces a, your reductions I was going to just going to make a motion to accept all of these deductions that we have gone through so far just that's one seven just, just the deductions just deductions fine so I'm do with I you have, then do I have a motion but to leave out the um, virtual Academy let's talk about I would say we talk about that later virtual Academy has already been rescinded right but it's not in here as it is a not was not discussed tonight 
Not discussed as a reduction. Not, it's <coughs> already out. It was all, the vote to have it in has already been rescinded. So to, for this purposes, it is out. Okay. Is right now, right? we are only discussing the decreases that we have talked about this evening. We started with on page four. Yes, yes we ma started with on page four. So do I have a motion to accept all the deductions to the proposed operating 2020-21 budget? All is in, do I have a motion? I still want to clarify the virtual. It's sitting here. It's on this. It, we are not talking about that page right now, Captain Kelly. We're talking about the deductions that we just went through the budget, starting it's from page still, four. It's still sitting here. It we, Just so you know, it is still sitting here. And as I made a clarification yes. from the last meeting, the vote to rescind the motion to have it accepted rescinds it. It is rescinded. It's not in this budget. Okay, so at the moment, at the moment, it is not in this budget. Okay, right. I just want to make sure. The motion that I'm asking for, on. the motion I'm asking for is to accept all the deductions to the budget, the proposed operating budget that we have just discussed. Do I have a motion? I make a motion, but can you please, give, for the record, give me the number that we just reduced? Without the 504? Mm -hmm. I was at... 100 and... 144223. I had more than that. Hang on, sir. I make a motion we reduce, we do a, a discussion we've done right in this evening to reduce the budget by 143. 144. 144. 223. 223. Yes, ma'am. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion is second. Any questions or comment on the motion? Aye. I call for the vote on the motion to reduce the proposed operating budget for 2021, $144,223. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, say no. The ayes have it. The motion is carried. Thank you. Do I have a motion to go into closed session? So do we, one question. Are we going to resume open session after that, or are we going to come back on Wednesday for the public? Well, I, I know we have Wednesday on the calendar, so I think that everybody is prepared to be back here on Wednesday. So, we'll, so we, we will come. Resolved? We're not going to come back again this evening, but we will come back Wednesday, or we're going to come back this evening. Your your call. You, I, I would say we're going to come back Wednesday. Okay. That is everyone. I apologize for all this. Um, this we're all prepared to come back. I know yeah. it's a daunting task, and I and I I and the board members truly appreciate that everyone is here. It's uh, it's a difficult situation. So we will close out of closed session, Mr. Strait. Okay, so do yeah, I have a motion? Pursuit to general provision article 3-305 and 3-104, I move the Board of Education of Queen Anne's County meet in closed session to consider matters related to negotiations and to perform administrator's function. I have a motion, do I have a second? Second. Any questions or comments on the motion? Hearing none, I call for the vote to go into closed session. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no, the ayes have it. Motion is carried. Thank you, Mr. Strait. And we will see you all on Wednesday. Thank you. Mm -hmm.